Hi there guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video and for all your support, it's much appreciated. Today I would like to chat to you and discuss my weight loss journey and how I got to doing keto and how it's worked for me. So if you're interested, please stay tuned and let's get right into this video. So I started my ketogenic diet about um, about two years ago. Um, how it started was that a friend of mine was doing panting and she had great success with panting and I started to do my research on panting. Of doing my research on banting, I stumbled across keto. So banting is just another version of low carb, but it's closely, it's more close, more leaning towards um, the Atkins diet. Um, and then I decided, let me try the keto diet, and which I refer to, keto is just basically um, low carb and banting on steroids, because your carbs are much lower, your fat is quite high, and your protein is very, is moderate. So I did some research, YouTube videos, I read some things and I thought let me give it a try and see if it will work for me and I can sort of tailor the, the plan and tailor it to suit my lifestyle. Started for the first year I did, I just did lazy dirty keto and um, how, how that happened was my meals consisted of three meals a day. I didn't really allow myself any snacking or anything to that effect. I just stick to breakfast, lunch, and supper. And that would mainly consist of, I had lots of eggs, whether it was boiled, fried, poached, or whether I had omelets, um, lots of eggs and lots of cheese. That's how I started. And I did, what I did was, I ate until I was full. I didn't restrict myself. I just uh, had four eggs in the morning, so maybe another three, two more eggs in the afternoon, and then I would have my protein, veggies, or a salad in the evening with the family as, um, as a supper, or as my last meal of the day. The other thing I also did was I didn't allow myself to eat or consume anything later than eight, eight o'clock. So my cutoff was at eight at night, so I wouldn't eat anything, whether it's snacking or, or anything to that effect, I would just, have coffee or have water or have some tea and that's how my journey started i had quite a bit of success with the keto diet for that first year i started out um, with my weight which i'm not actually so comfortable saying but i will say i started out when i when i started I managed to find some pictures just to give you an idea as to what I looked like at 118 kilos. Um, I tried to avoid the camera as much as possible, didn't like taking pictures, so this was quite a task to get some pics just to give you an idea as to what 118 kilos would look on me. So um, yeah, that's what I look like. The keto diet, I was at 118 kilos. I was very unhappy. Um, I was just uncomfortable with myself, uncomfortable in my clothing, and my confidence was taking a beating. To um, to put it to put it that way, I was not confident um, and things like that. And I just said, you know what? I'm tired. Um, I I need a change, and I'm going to try this and see if it works for me. And I did it. And like I said, I started at 118 kilos, and I lost quite a bit of weight. I lost about 20, 23 kilos. This is just a picture that I found or that I managed to find um, after I lost the, the weight. I think I was around about 95, 96 kilos in the picture and I was feeling good. I was um, on the right track. I was doing everything I was supposed to. So this is what I looked like at 95, 96 kilos. Um, with the keto diet, I had quite a bit of success and then life just happened um, i was indulging in too many things allowing myself to indulge in too many sweet things too many snacks too many rewards um, and parties were happening gatherings were happening and then it just sort of snowballed from there and i just fell off completely and i then i think it was last year december 2019 december i just I was, I thought to myself, let me try and get back onto keto because I was getting to a place where I was feeling that way again about being uncomfortable and I know what my success with keto was 
and and how much weight I lost and how I felt mentally, how I was feeling, um, how I was looking physically, and I just loved it. The overall feeling, the overall look. And, and I just thought to myself, let me do what I know, and that is keto. And um, in 2019, December, I, just, I sort of slowly, gradually started again. And um, my husband and I sort of had lots of conversations, many, many conversations about health and just, you know, wanting to see, wanting to grow old together, wanting to see our kids get married and hopefully be able to enjoy our grandchildren and that. And I, want, and I wanted to be a part of that and doing what I was doing, the unhealthy lifestyle and not taking care of myself um, was not going to afford me that opportunity. Then most definitely not. And I thought, let me make a change for myself, for my husband, and then obviously for my kids as well. And that, that's when I decided, let's do this. And then December sort of came, like I said, as stated, and then January was sort of uh, iffy, iffy. And then it really started for me, it really, I really focused or zoned in on it. And the lockdown period happened and I thought to myself, this is a good, a good time for me to sort of focus and sort of just refocus on myself, on my health, and just trying to get to a better and healthier uh, place, state of mind, physically as well. And that's when I really started to do the keto again. And for me, it's really been, I've had great success with keto, but uh, um, keto for me has really helped to um, not only lose the weight, but I just like how I feel on keto mentally as well. And what I also did was not just the keto, but I did, I incorporated intermittent fasting and that really helped curb my cravings and all sorts of things. And I really, really loved how I felt and didn't have to think about breakfast, what's going to be for breakfast, what's going to be for lunch. And um, depending on which pro uh, fasting protocol you follow, uh, merging those two things and helping me in, help, in helping me to get to a better place um, with my health. So my journey is still continuing. I'm loving it. Keto for me has really worked. Like I've said, I can't say it enough. And um, I'm, I'm very active on my Instagram account at Keto Diva Queen underscore. You can go and check me out there. I've got a lot videos i take uh, lots of pics of what i eat today what i snack on whether i do snack and i'm, I'm a bit more active there in terms of what my day entails. so um, yeah that is my journey with keto and how i lost the weight i'm currently i'm in a good place i'm in a sweet spot i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing i haven't been doing no exercising just focusing on my diet, just focusing on what I put on my plate and what I put in my mouth, and that has really worked for me. Um, I'm definitely will be at a later stage incorporating exercising again. I love walking, I love being on the open road, music in my ear, and just zoning out and just enjoying the, the walk, the fresh air, etc. So I will definitely will be incorporating that at a, at, a, at a later stage. But at this point in time, and even in the past, I haven't really uh, been focusing that much on exercising or what I have to get my exercising in. I've solely been focusing on my eating and getting my eating correct and making sure that I clean my plate in terms of what I put on the plate. So um, I've really enjoyed keto and keto, like I've said, I've been I've really enjoyed keto and it's really helped me tremendously with getting myself back on track health wise and um, yeah so at the moment when I not, sorry not at the moment but when I started my new journey when I started in March with keto again like focusing on keto strict not strict keto but really focusing on keto again I was about 106 kilos I've managed to lose uh, almost about 18 kilos now due to the lockdown so I'm very proud of myself and I'm not ashamed to say that I've put in the hard work and I'm a big believer in if you put in the work you will reap the reward so I've put in the work and change must come change must come a new day will come so that's how I feel so if you're interested in this type of video if you're interested in seeing my journey with my weight loss and how I navigate through this 
through through everything with the keto with the fasting what i'm eating if you're interested in that type of videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support will be appreciated you can click that notification button and whenever i upload a new video you will be notified so yeah so i will be loading some more videos about cooking we'll be chatting about the ketogenic diet my experience with the ketogenic diet about fasting about lifestyle and just overall things so if you're interested once again in, in those type of things please stay tuned please subscribe like i said your support is much appreciated so thank you once again have a good one it was nice chatting to you see you in the next one